Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. If you're in Ghana, the value-added tax calculation has changed, effective 1st January 2026. In this short video, we want to compare the calculation in the old regime to the one in the new regime, see the differences, and we also share the free template that would allow you to collate all your VAT calculations deduct your input tax so that at the end of each month you have a clear view of what you have to remit to the tax authorities so if you are game join me and let's get started right so on your screen we have the calculation using the old regime against the new regime so we'll take our time and go through and then you will now appreciate the difference between the two so using the taxable value of 12,500 in the old regime, you had to calculate statutory levies, right? So the get fund, NHIL and COVID levies. So let's do the get fund, which was 2.5%. I'll take this 2.5% and multiply by 12,500. I'm going to lock this F4 so we can copy down, right? So this is giving us 312.50. I'll do a control D to copy this one down. This is multiplying the 12,500 for the NHIL of 2.5% and the COVID levy, which is also 1%. So control D was also calculated, right? Then when you are done, you need to now add these levies. So alt equal to, I'll select these levies and then add this one, 12,500. This will now become your taxable value. Right, so this will give us 13,250. Then on the 13,250, you now calculate the standard 15% VAT. So this is going to be this 15% multiplied by 13,250. Right, so that gives you a VAT of 1987.50. So for the customer, what you are going to give the customer is this taxable value of 13,250 plus the VAT of 1987.50, which gives you 15,237.50. So in essence, when you look at the old regime, the total tax would be all the levies plus the 15% VAT that was charged on the taxable value, which already included the statutory levies, right? So this has changed. Now let's see how we now calculate it. So in the new regime, effective 1st January 2026, what we have now is if you have the same 12,500 or any taxable value, you have to now calculate the 2.5%. So I'm going to multiply this by the 12,500. I'm going to lock this F4. So that gives us 312.50. Then I'll copy this down for the same NHIO. Okay, so this is also going to give us. So these two are the only statutory levies now. There's no more COVID 1% levy. This has gone off, right? Now, the good thing is that earlier, you now had to calculate the 15% on the value that already included the statutory levies. But this time around, your standard 15% is going to rather be on the initial 12,500, right? So it's a direct tax on that 12,500. So this will give you 1875. So now to get your total amount, you now have to take your taxable value, add the statutory levies, the two of them, and add that direct 15%, okay? So this is going to now give you 15,000, right? So there's a lot of savings for the customer and the seller as well, right? So the difference here, if you look at the total tax, okay, is now 2,500, okay? So the extra tax here, giving us a difference of, so giving us a difference of 237.50, right? So that is the savings. So this is the new calculation that we are using. Okay, just the two statutory levies, a 15% direct tax on the taxable value. And then when you are done, 
you can now add all the levies and the 15% tax to the original value, right? We'll make this template available so that you can use it to calculate using the new regime. But that's not all. We've built a model here. You know, at the end of the month, if you are in business in Ghana, you are supposed to collate or list all the VATs that you have collected. So as an example, this transaction that we just did, it is 12,500, right? The supply type is the standard tax rate of 15%. So once you do that, you now get this automatically calculated. Your NHIL 2.5 is calculated. Your get fund is calculated, giving you a total indirect tax of 2,500. Then your total invoice is 15,000, right? So if you have more, you can now add, if you want more rules, you can just insert Alt IR F4, F4 to add more rules and just copy the formulas down, right? Now at the end of the month, if you also were involved in any transaction that allowed you to pay tax, the tax authority says that that can be considered as an input tax. It means you have to take it away. So what it means is that if you were charged VAT for anything that you purchased, that VAT component can now be taken away. You can also now take away the NHIL levy and the get fund levy, right? So it's like a credit to you. Okay. So again, if you bought something, you can now put in the value, choose a standard type, the VAT that was charged on that amount, the NHIL, the get fund, right? You have to choose credit eligible, put yes there. So on this 300, you are making a savings of 60. Of course, you need to make sure that you have the receipt and all that. So once you've collated this, what's going to happen is that your total taxable sales, which was 12,500, your 2500 which was the tax that you put on for customers that you sold to and then the 60 the credit that you got from purchases that you made okay is now going to be net off then you have 2440 which represents the amount you are supposed to remit to ghana revenue authority so essentially your effective tax rate in this current regime is 20 percent okay so we've made this template available you can download it using the link shared in the video. So please practice and I'll be happy to take your feedback. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good day. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finance Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.